Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at the speed build and review of this beauty of a set. The boat just fell. I absolutely adore this set. A lighthouse is such a cool idea. And for this being a Lego idea set, it is so cool. Um, also, like... I love the fact that it actually lights up and moves, and you guys will see that in the video today. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited for this. So without any further ado, let's get into that speed build.
All right, so now that I, that is done, let's get into the actual review of the lighthouse, starting off with the minifigures. All right. Here is the first figure. She has a nice torso printing. Nice torso print. I don't want to take off the oars because they took a while to get into the perfect position. She also has a nice hat and a nice back printing with amazing two lines. <laughs> she has boots on and she does not have a second expression. I'm counting animals in this in the minifigure category. So there's also this rubber seagull, which I think is pretty cool that they at least included one in this set. There's also a teeny tiny little kitty cat that is one stud wide, which is just adorable because it reminds me of my cat when he was a little kitten. Next up at the tippy top of the lighthouse, I have the actual lighthouse keeper. He has a little stopwatch in his um, pocket with a tie and a very nice looking torso. I'm gonna lower this. Um, I like his face printing. He looks pretty happy in there. I like his little hat. He also doesn't have a other printing or another facial expression, but that's a pretty cool torso. And now that that is done, let me show you the main features of this set. All right, I turned off all the lights in the room to show you guys this. Three, two, one. With it being a lighthouse, it kind of makes sense that the lighthouse actually lights up and is functional. But this is really cool because this is the first motor I have that lights up and spins. Also, if we lower the camera to the cabin, we can see, not the cabin, but their home can light up as well, which you guys will see in a little bit, but that can also light up. All right, with all the lights back on, let's start down at the base of the lighthouse right there. All right, so first off, we have a little boat that can go on the dock on shore. Actually, we are going to raise this up and tilt it down. There we go. So this boat just sticks to the dock and there's a really nice steps there are some really nice steps going up to the house itself, to the lighthouse. There are these clear tiles and slopes going all around everything. So you can see them even on these tinier islands. Or I would say just these tinier rocks. Um, but that is a cool feature because it shows waves. I'm going to turn off the main light I'm using and show you this. Um, so there's a little lever. Actually, I should probably have the light on for this, but I'm not. So there's this lever here. Right here, you can't see it. But when you push it down, that turns it on. Flip it back up, turns it off. Also, once again, here's a look inside the cave. Um, there's a treasure chest and a bat, and now you can kind of see the lever I'm using the flashlight. And when you push down on lever, stuff turns on, and then as you can see, when you flip it up, it turns off. So, inside of this treasure chest, we do have some treasure. Um, you can open it up, and there's a bunch of diamonds in there. There's a green, blue, red, and yellow one, which is really cool. They included that little feature in there. 
keep on moving along. There's some more amazing rock work here, in my opinion. And um, somewhere in this frame, there is a electrical box. And no, it is not in the cords. It is actually right here. I know, you can't even see it. It's actually hidden pretty well. It just sits there in front, which I think is actually pretty cool. So if the batteries do go dead, you can unscrew these and put in six new AA batteries. Continuing to turn around, some more amazing rock work. Got a little bit of a shore here. And this is really the only like detail other than rock work. There is a anchor here. Now we're back up to the front. Um, I think I might do the tower last. Just work my way up in height. And we're going to do the house next. So, the roof can pop off. It says Aurora Point with a nice lantern. And then that allows you to see inside. Although with my amazing tripod, we can attempt to do that. Let's go up a little higher. All right. So, um, not sure how well you guys can see. Hold on. All right, here it is, and I'm still not sure how well this is going to work. All right, this is the best you guys are probably going to get. So, on the left, you can see a bed and a little table with um, a little candle. Then, on the wall, there's a picture of the lighthouse with the family on the wall there's a fish then there's a little um shelf with a bottle and a s little slope i'm th not sure if that's supposed to be cheese then there's some pots and pans and here i'll turn back on the light so you can see there's the fireplace there's a teapot there's a clock on the wall. There's some firewood. Um, there's a good angle. Then, if I spin this around, you can see there's a little table with a teacup. And there's a good shot of the bed. There's a broom next to the door. And then, on this side, Dude, this boat is, like, just barely hanging on. Uh, and then there's a book and quill right there. It's a very tight space. And I love this design on the outside with the um, ingots. It looks really good. That goes all the way around. There's some nice shutters on the outside as well. I'm sure that this is very shaky. I'm using my hand because my tripod is, like this tall at its shortest yeah that's the shortest it goes but it's like taller than me so and i'm five five so <laughs> yeah it's very tall but not very short Alrighty, next up i'm going to put the roof back on i want to show you guys the um inside of the tower and how you do this is you just pop off the back panels. Although, sometimes they can be very annoying. And I don't have a brick separator on me. Unless I have one up here. I do have one up here. Hold on. Alright, I do have one. This isn't really made to open, but they put stuff in here. So for the review, I have to open it. Yeah, so let me just open this. And then, I don't think this part at the tippy, at the very top, that one doesn't, this part doesn't open. 
Okay, so, first up, bottom floor, there is a, there's a ladder, as you guys can see, and then next to that, there is a, um, axe on the wall. Um, on the next floor up, there's a ladder on the opposite side. And then, going up even more, in there, you can see there is a picture on the wall, and I'll give you guys a better angle of that. Just had to pop it off the wall. There's that picture. I think that's the original owner of the lighthouse. And that just sits right in here. Just like that. And there's a ladder right here again. And then there's a ladder all the way up here on this side. You can kind of see it through the window. See, you can kind of see it, but not really. I wonder if I can get this off. Or maybe this side I can get off. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to try and get the front off. Yeah, no, I don't think that's supposed to come off. But you guys get the gist. All right, last but not least, we have up top the light of the light part of the lighthouse. So, first up, the this is very it is a very interesting way that they built this. These glass glass is actually a garage door. Like the garage part garage door parts. I'm gonna lower it a little. There's actually a door up here, as you can see. And there's a nice railing for the um minifigure to be standing by. And then the light, of course, is very light light like. And then if we go up to the very, very top, you can see the t little point up there. So that is really cool. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications. And as always, peace out.